Alright. So, if you've uh, ever been to a rural area of the United States, you'll notice that the people are fucking idiots. They buy things like scratch-off tickets and uh, Powerball tickets, and that's I guess, and uh, fucking job boats, and rifles, and red hand apparel. And then you have people that are uh, in Silicon Alley that are going to uh, CES right now and wearing smart watches and have smart fridges and uh, in general have automated their lives. And you see the disparity. Smart I'm sorry? It's smart stuff. Okay. Anyway, so. Uh, So, <laughs> sorry, sir. You're on a phone call. Oh, I thought you were on a phone call. Anyway, I'm gonna sit down so I get a little, little bit less uh, exuberant. If you uh, have ever been to a rural area of this country and then been to Manhattan or been to LA or been to San Francisco, you know that the difference in the culture is so wide, the difference in the awareness, the difference in the intellect is so profound that it's dangerous. So. We are now entering the largest renaissance in human communication ever. Hey? Uh, 20 years ago, uh, there were people that would go weeks without reading or writing a single word, and now 98% of the population, aside from the 30 million people that are illiterate in this country, there are 30 million illiterate adults in the United States. 30 million illiterate adults in the United States. It's 10% of the adult population. So that's a little bit of a, of a campaign of mine. Um, aside from those, every one of us is reading and writing every day, and, and that psychologically has quite a profound effect right on our... Uh, <coughs> How, how am I out of time? Does anyone have time for me? You got, you're at six minutes. Six minutes, okay. Thank you. Six thirty if you want to be. Um, <laughs> so, we're talking about culture. Um, so, I found an extra tone uh, as a constant, or as a context for a constant discussion on this disparity, on this gap, to try to figure out what our future is going to look like when we have people that are, can't read and then we have people driving by them in autonomous cars. In the near future, we're going to have autonomous cars and 30 million illiterate people living side by side. Tesla yeah, is suck my fucking asshole! Elon Musk is my bitch! Hello, hello gentlemen, there's an extra girl back out. why I'm on earth. It's to find people that are profoundly new, like all of you. Everyone here at this festival, at this convention, at this depraved hellhole at the Gaylord. Amen. Amen for immortalism. Um, <laughs> we are all the future, yes, more than anyone else. 
more than uh, jewelry than a tree. Seventy. Seventy. Okay, I don't like this a little too much. I like my own voice. That's actually the only reason I found the website. Drunk. Goodbye.